I want more events like this. I had so much fun and it reminded me of Hogwarts Legacy's potion making and potion class. And in this video, I finished this alchemical ascension event and I loved it. Nice. Sublime mastery. That's me. No, Sukri. Hope you enjoyed this. Grab some popcorn if you want to watch this or just leave the video as an ambient your choice. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into the video. I want to fin finish this uh, this event right here. I think I've only done the first day. Yeah, only the first day completed. So uh, it's those two days. But first of all, I have to do this. So um, let's do it like this. There we go. Now that we're done. Oops. Let go. After a brief trial period, the potion shop opened to great success, I think. We just keep getting swarmed with more and more customers. It's been non-stop work for so long, Paimon's starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Business sure is booming. We've got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Paimon kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> hmm? Hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Uh, cycle 11. Talk to Freda. Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit tough <sighs> lately, so Lisa recommended we find some way to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Improve operating efficiency. All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Uh, lucky Wish Rank 1. When concocting potions, the chance of lucky bonus is increased to 30%. When a lucky bonus is obtained, the level of potion will be additionally increased. Amount of alchemy level experience received increased by 30%. When concocting potions, the maximum number of characters that can be shown is increased by 1. The potion gains 5 bonus level and the maximum motion. My guy, did I just get a skill tree? This is literally my favorite event. Okay. Now let's see. Let me read all of these. I think I want sales to have more money. Oh, I can upgrade these. Base potion sales volume and more stocking. What is this? And more experience for alchemy. That's good. Okay, can I unlock this? No, I need to have all of these at max level. I think I might need more ingredients. Let's do a lucky bonus here and let's do a lucky bonus here as well. Okay, and now I have 8, 8k left. Nice! I do love a good skill tree. 
and I I never thought we would have this in Genshin. The captain of a Lewis ship wants to improve the constitution of new sailors and ameliorate the effect of seasickness. An exhilarating pancreation tournament is underway in the fortress of Merapid, and it is said there's someone looking to buy a way to boost their physical capacity. No matter the price. Okay. Um. So I need Yelan. Shut up. I need constitution and to ameliorate seasickness, and I need a lot of boost, a physical boost. So let's see what I can concoct. Let me see if I remember this because it's been a while. So I need harvest. I need to harvest my plants. You can expand funds and consume special alchemical plant to increase the rate at which the ingredients will mature, allowing you to directly obtain them. I don't want to accelerate anything. I'll harvest all. And uh, what do I have? Let me see. Everything. Let me play some more of these. Sure. I don't want to accelerate anything. Let's concoct some potions, shall we? So, I need... Seasickness. No, I, I need to combat seasickness. This looks nice, I guess. And it's a pure strength potion. Let's do it. I don't know. Like this. Nice. New level alchemy. And I got this, okay. Can I enhance it? Mm, yes, I can. Ooh, it's advanced. And I can enhance it once more? No, I cannot. Okay, let's put this up for sale. And now I have another place to put potions. Let's see what I have. So, strength. Big boy strength here. Uh, anything else that I can do with strength? These are the dexterity, endurance, and focus. Relaxing. Well, maybe seasick is all right with constitution. With relaxing, I guess. Stock potions. Okay, that's it. Uh, let me see what upgrades can I get from here. Freda has brought new supplies, so now I can get. Uh, better cauldron, potion bottles, a bottle decoration made from the combination. Okay, so I can get decorations now for 10,000 a piece. That's a lot, but I'll get a crystal flight. This looks cute. Okay, and I don't have more for these. Uh, let's end the current cycle, and I think that's it, right? Let me just check one more time this marketing news so pure physical capabilities i did uh strength and uh, endurance right yeah and warm i guess this is good right this is pure power so let's do this let's end the cycle now and let's see Okay, not that much revenue, but apparently it's all right. Oh, that's in sucrose. Greetings, traveler Paimon and Lisa. Sucrose, it's been a while since the last time we saw you. On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first. I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs, but judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects! You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for some. I have, a, I have experience from Hogwarts I Legacy. Be surprised if she became a potion master one day. I'm just Still, a beginner. If you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep, it's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it. The goal was not just to create and sell potions, 
but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm... Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor your travel, <laughs> we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. I'm taking exams you now. Of course, be compensated for your efforts. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Confidence is a good look on you, cutie. Wonderful. Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, let's go. Alchemy exams are tests intended to assess, to assess your potioneering techniques. The exam is split into several stages that must be completed in sequence. You have three attempts for each stage. Additionally, potions produced during the exams will not be saved. You will instead be refunded the ingredients consumed during the exam. Okay. Each test stage comes with its primary and secondary objectives. Complete the primary objective to pass the test, and complete the secondary objective to increase your test rating. Test rewards are based on your rating. If you fail the exam, you must wait a certain period of time before retaking the exam. Okay. So, what do we have here? Complete the primary objective to pass the exam. Complete secondary bonus object objectives to earn bonus rewards. So, what do we have here? Concoct a potion of intermediate or higher grade whose efficacies include constitution. Potion grade reaches intermediate and potion level reaches for plus 5. Potion displays at least one characteristic and use no more than three types of ingredients. Okay, I think I know what to do. So, I just need constitution. I need to make it like to complete all almost all the tetris there and use no more than three ingredients and when it says display at least one character so i just need to get like the worm or the endurance so just constitution so this this and i guess balance and that's it let's see okay this should do it Nigredo Realm. Isn't Nigredo that character from Overlord? Let's see what uh, what this potion looks like. It is indeed the intermediate potion. It's full. <laughs> it's almost, I think, a fully advanced potion. And focus steadying and its constitution. Did I get everything? I got everything. Wow. Nice. Sublime Mastery. That's me. I'm that good. Hmm. Your movements are quite practiced, and your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam. Hmm. Oh, that was the beginner exam. Never mind. Literally, that was nothing. Wow. I really thought 
would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. All right. I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. I'm going to head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. Bye. All right. Well, I got all the objectives. I got all the money. Now this is another day, right? Yeah. I haven't alchemied today. Let me see the market. Did I? I did everything. There we go. So everything that's up for sale is perfect. Okay. First of all, my oh, you can directly consume ingredients to obtain XP towards increasing your ingredient level using the analyze ingredient function. Use this function when you have ample stocks to provide considerable benefits to your shop. Oh. So first of all, I cultivate and harvest what I have here. And then you have I have a lot of things. Yeah. Well, this is level maximum, so I don't need that. Like this. That's it, maximum. Yeah, okay, so I can do this. I think that's it. Did I get everything? I got everything. Let's do next cycle. And see what our profit is. 63, 63k. That's okay. Uh, ingredients are alright. Let me talk to Freda to see if I can upgrade anything else. First of all, I want to improve my cauldron. I don't think I want any more decoration for now. But I want to upgrade my skill tree. What do we have here? More experience to level up faster. That's okay. Ooh. Exam aid. Sales price of all potions increased by... Oh, it's only after the exams. Okay, this is uh, like a passive thing. If I'm done with the exams, I can stock five potions. I don't need that. Okay, let me upgrade this one to have more sales volume. How about I unlock all these uh, ingredients growing? Experience gained when concocting potions or any ingredient increased by 15%. Let's do this because I do want more, uh, more of those things. And how about I increase my cauldron? I'll have this later, but the experience gained is actually pretty good. That's all right. Can I predict the next market? There's no way I can do that. And this is the last cycle on this far on this part. That's a good profit. This thing sold great. How is this better than these two? Wow. Okay. Kaya. Thanks. I don't read that. Oh, I see Diona and Venti. Oh, traveler? Paimon? Huh, looks like you're running a business. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Def Bard. What brings you to the shop? It amuses me that Diona hates the alcoholic, th al alcoholic people, but uh, she hangs out with uh, the only alcohol induced thing here. This I guy. I smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him! We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Catstail, so... She asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So, we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But, sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. Sake. It. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. What? It was once buried in the snow, and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa, 
Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh, because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? How about a different approach? Drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Oh, Paimon gets what she's saying! Ahem. <clears throat> You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Monska alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet! Ugh, <sighs> but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course! Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Wow. <laughs> it's called alcohol, Paimon. <laughs> hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? I could try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go making promises we can't keep, Traveler. I said I could oh, try. I never promised anything. Like Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Let me tell you. You're around one right now. He's right there. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm. This may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. You mean immune to poison? You mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh. Sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? I can try that. Should be doable. Perfect. <laughs> what? I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. I mean, I don't think that's the purpose of alcohol, but okay, do what you want. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Alright. I will see. And I need to make a potion for Diona, right? So, how's the potion I need a wisdom and steadying. Close enough. I don't have anything wisdom and steadying I have steadying but this is doesn't have wisdom I have a lot of constitution can I use this one will this be enough okay Shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! Thank you so much. Hold Someone's excited. Head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait! Don't leave without me! I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester! Of course! <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject! <laughs> And just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, 
If I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Nice. I can't wait to make the sort of wine that make people more sober and more they the more they drink. Okay. Let's see. Now that I've got that one done. I need to concoct a potion, right? Let me check the market again because I forgot. So let's do this. Let's do calming and focus. What can I do with calming and focus? So calming, calming, calming. What is this? Relaxing, steadying, relaxing, and focus. And focus. As well as technique can can be alright. And this is a better technique. I still have dexterity. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Now I have focus and relaxing. That's what I need. So let's do this one. Let's see if this works. And I will put it in a cat one. Sure. Good. It's a maximum level potion. And I level out some. I used all <laughs> a lot of ingredients. There. Okay, let's see if this is what they want. Uh, what do we have here? This one. Dexterity and wisdom. And you are... Just dexterity. I don't think I need strength anymore. Stock potions and... I guess that's it. Let's uh, finish the cycle. And let's see what I got here. 42k, okay. And this one that I just made is the perfect one. So yes, indeed, it was what I needed. Let me see what I got here. Perfect. So I got relaxing wisdom focus, strength wisdom constitution. Good. This is 15, so I've done, uh, I'm, I'm done with the market. 78,000, this is amazing. Yep. And I got this one. Great job, QT Jen asks me to provide us with additional funds. I got 200k. Thanks. Traveler, Paimon. How has the potion making been going lately? Amazing. So close, you're back. I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I'm sure this exam will also be a walk in the park for you. Well, ready to begin? All right, let's do the second exam. This is intermediate. Complete the primary objective to pass the exam. Complete secondary objective. Okay, so we have conduct a potion with dif with efficacies, strength and dexterity, both reaching grade in intermediate or higher. So I need strength and dexterity. I think that's all right. It has to be at least plus eight. Potion displays at least two characteristics and no more than 10 ingredients used. 10 ingredients, no, not different ingredients, so 10, 10 clicks. Okay. Let's do this. So I need strength and dexterity. So strength and so these two. Let's see what I have here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is exactly ten. Let's do this. Okay. And I did everything. There we go. Perfect. Good exam. Your potion meets the requirements. You've passed once again. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please take this for your trouble. Thank you, Sucrose. A lot of things. Okay. Uh, now what? Let me do this, so I got the answer, and I need Congat Potion with 10 different e efficacies, accelerate ingredient cultivation one time. Oh wait, actually, can I, I, I can accelerate, oh yeah, I don't need to accelerate one thing, okay, let's do this. Harvest, done. I've accelerated that one, so that one quest done. Okay, and I just need to concoct potions with 10 different efficacies. I, there, so there's one more efficacy that I, have, I haven't used. Steading. Do I have anything? I don't have healing. Okay, let's do healing. Healing time. So let's do something with healing. Uh, healing, healing, healing. What does have healing? I think this. No, this has relaxing. This has healing. 
and it's the only thing that has healing at this point so i need a lot of chasing okay now i have healing and endurance and it's just a, this is literally a healing potion so i'll do this one and we'll do with a heart this is literally a healing it's, it's green it's literally a healing potion Thanks, and I have max chasing. Done, and this was the best day. There we go, 104k, nice. Boom, business is booming. Candace. Hello, everyone. Oh, Diluc, what's up? Oh, is that Master Diluc? Oh, Diluc, what someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? Really been a while. Who told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that Who? turned out to be quite the hit? I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Yeah, I'm everywhere, I know. Elser is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, I'm on that he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> No need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. What? what? Threat? Rival? Let the trade war begin. Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe to toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm. A competition with the traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. I just sold a potion that doesn't make you drunk when you drink alcohol. I think that potion is making your business better than it ever was so don't come back to me when you need that You're extremely knowledgeable and well traveled if we were to become competitors i'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way probably even some i've never faced before but i was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense. It's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. Paimon never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more of making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D-Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted 
and all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. So that <laughs> people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. Uh, did Paimon get that right? It's I think I have a couple in my arsenal. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. Okay, Dilug, let's see if I have something for you. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? So, what do you need? Constitution and wisdom. Focus and relaxing. <laughs> there we go. We're finished with the potion, Master Dilug. Please give it a try. Oh, I thought you might need more time. But it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. Now we're Plan talking. is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. Yep, looks like our new product a hit. If our potion was enough to impress Master Diluc, I'm sure regular customers are going to be even more amazed. Well, there's still work to be done, so... I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait. We'll see you next time, Master Diluc. Thank you for this. This looks amazing. Let's use this one. This was, I don't even know what this was. We will do the charisma. There you are, stock potion. They look beautiful. <laughs> they look amazing. Hold on. Screenshot. I'm keeping this one. Let me do let me do a quick uh, a beautiful thumbnail here. What? I can just concoct potion now? Okay, next cycle. It wasn't that as bad as, as uh, good as this one, but it's alright. Lini. Oh, there we go. 
and wait two days later. So I got that part. Okay. Over time, your business continues to grow and expand. You're increasing. Okay. Oh. Here. Random NPC oh, number 324. Sure Let's go check it out. Talk to the merchant. Now I realized the <laughs> the picture here is like a potion stand. Wow. This looks this looks neat. Hello there. The name's Atope. I am a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Great to meet you. Whoa, you made quite the journey. Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet. <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me, though... When the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> with that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other Mora obsessed merchant. <laughs> Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That Dory? You know her? Well, uh, yes. She's a friend of mine. Lord Songama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more more than I can count. <laughs> uh, looks like we lost her. Uh, should Paimon snap her out of it? Or... <laughs> we wish you the best. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to that. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. Check According potion requirements. Sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. So... Just constitution, like all of these. Oh. Uh, sure. Oh. Let's see. Limit and time batch sale, 100 fold guarantee, celebrity endorsement, bulk pro purchase discount, academia, no, free sample, and celebrity endorsement. This should be amazing. Confirm. Let's see. Uh, show us her bag and leaves. Okay. So now I have a distributor. It's a new day. Awaiting harvest. Yes, don't forget about the plants. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, I'm max level. I guess I have one. I have a potion of each. I could do some upgrades though. And operation cycle. And let's see. Yeah, we're alright. A lot of supplies. Okay. No, Sukri. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you're back. Wait, that must mean there's a new exam. <laughs> new exam time. Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. It'll and be maybe, fine. This time it'll be super embarrassing. Don't worry too much about that. Lots
Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another That's time, funny. I had let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <laughs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. Can I just say this? The Sucrose voice actor is amazing at, his, at her job. She's uh, doing way above her pay grade, for sure. Fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. Alright, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. Alright. What do you have here? So, I had to conduct a portion of advanced or higher grade whose efficacies include wisdom. It has to be at least 8 uh, fragrant and at least 5 different types. Okay, this should be, this should be interesting. So... I guess this is it. Yep, expert wisdom. So it's more than f advanced. And I believe I got everything. Yep, I have everything. Well, nice exam. Wow, you even breezed through the advanced exam. Yep. Have you thought about helping out around the lab? Nope. Or maybe Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, traveler? Not sure we're quite ready for that yet. If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? Potential <laughs> boost. Enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Alternatively, a strength enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an abyss mage all on her own. I'm pretty sure she she can. Make potions like that sounds awesome. Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is in itself a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. I... Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch all that. <sighs> my bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guide into bats in no time! Huh? Well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Thank you. Now that I'm... I can do whatever with my money. Another distributor. Oh. These are the profits from... Yeah, these are. 110% celebrity endorsement was amazing. 
Let's try something else. What do I want? Just strength. I think I have yeah, a pure strength here with more strength here. Let me do this, this, and this. Okay. And we'll do this our previous one. This works. Let's do... Actually, let me test some more. Um, this should do the trick. Confirm. One question. What can I do with these funds? I don't know if I can do anything with the with the funds. I think I have everything here. Yeah, I do have everything. And I just have um, one more exam. So these are done. Can I purchase anything for my potions? Oh! Sales expansion contract. 600k. Thank you. Potion butter is full. And shop decorations. You're telling me there's 200,000 mora on this. Or this. Oh. Another one? Okay, okay, okay. From Lue. Okay, you want wisdom. I have a couple healing potion. Okay. I should have enhanced these. Eh, I don't care. Uh, let's see. For Lue. There's no need for academia, I think. Let's do 100-fold guarantee. And let's do another free sample for Lue. What do we have here? Obtain revenue sharing income from distributors two times. I guess tomorrow is the last one. And an expert exam. 430,000. Nice. Oh. Goro and Kirara. Oh, now so that's a pair I didn't know it existed. So much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests... I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. Huh? Goro? Where did you come from? Indeed. Oh, and Kirara is here too! What are you guys doing in Mondstadt? And together. What are you guys doing together? <laughs> Comania Express operates all across to that, so I'm always on the road. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand... Seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory. But Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. I have basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now. Oh, so she's some one -sided she's an employee. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Our future business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you've practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. Sure. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. Mm -hmm. You really do have friends all over to that. Hmm. Looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. <laughs> Razor. You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even bring my student along. Oh uh, yes, a dog, a cat, and a wolf. Sounds great! 
I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Because Lisa uh, is worse uh, than Miko. Uh, traveler, care to make some introductions? The guardian mage of thumbs and spares. She can also make a mean cup of tea. G guardian mage? Wow. She's a librarian. <laughs> is it a position similar to that of a Gucci? Yep. He's getting Vietnam flashbacks. I'm in the presence of someone as high ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sangonomia herself. Yep. Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just a uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Oh, the collection of books from Kirara. She Kira completely Kira. ignored Goro. <laughs> you were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Let me guess, your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Okay, what about some coffee? Use a potion like that as well. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. I'm pretty sure I have one in my arsenal. Yep, leave it to us. Well, while you two hop to it, I'm gonna find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. Sounds alright. <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, wonder what that'll be like. Oh, I can't wait to find out. <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. Oh, that's a lot of things. Goro. I thought I've told you this before, that if you want to pass through the forest undetected, you're going to want to wet your tails. Wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. Uh, not to alarm you, Goro, but her tails aren't that uh, fluffy as yours. Nuh-uh. That's not going to happen. I can't stand my tails wet. I'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something. Or better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. Aren't you a yokai? So you could just make your tails disappear. <laughs> oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? What do you need? Strength and endurance. There you are. Your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Wonderful. You two sure work fast. Hmm. Wait. Wow. My right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion and the pain is completely gone. I thought the potions were for drinking. <laughs> From walking on all <laughs> okay. It was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. Well, Some yes. Arsenal? I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. 
Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers of Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Well done, me. Well, now that our work is out of the way, what was that camera angle? Between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Oh, perfect! Lisa's here! I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendung, but he wasn't there. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-eared companions. <laughs> furry-eared companions. I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something to look forward to. Now I realize Kirara either has two sets of ears or she doesn't have cat ears, which is disappointing. Wow, you placed quite the sizable order. Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Of course! I have a feeling this super powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry! Absolutely! I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. Miss Guardian Mage. Bye, Kimara. Hmm, the next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between Her Excellency and the Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas. Isn't Jean the leader here? 180,000, that's a lot for a potion. Uh... Oh, it was a good day. 430,000, nice. You continue to run the burner thanks to all your hard work, your oil and oh, surpass expectations. I to to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much more in such a short amount of time. Wasn't I placed here just for... I don't remember what, what, why was I placed here in the first place. Was this just a, a, a um, I don't know, like to try something to see if this will work and we literally rewrote the entire industry. I came looking for copper and found gold. It's all thanks to your help. So humble. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Thank you so much for all your help. Of course, if you're interested in continuing to run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. In either case, I should already have oh. more than enough to report back to Jean with. Well, Jean is reporting back to you. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Jean! I forgot her voice. Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the Traveler to help you once again. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have. Especially if we want good results. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way, and I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. <laughs> it's truly really reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe I'm due for a vacation. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. What of stress? Course. Thank you for all your hard work. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. 
After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the Knights and the Traveler really helped to lessen the load. Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Please take this as your compensation. Is Jean's voice actor different? I don't remember her voice being like this. Compensation. I've also prepared a little memento for you. Here, I hope you like it. I love it. Where can I save this? Good. Charisma. I don't have any other. I need three. Let's concoct another one. Beautiful ping. And I will do with a feather. Charisma. And it's. Oh, I cannot use this. Because it's pure charisma as well. Yeah, this is alright. And now it is indeed what I wanted. Let's do a ribbon with this one. Strength and charisma. Charisma, strength and charisma, wisdom and charisma. Let's go. And we're doing academia and celebrity. Where's this blue operating costs? Five half a million. Just as, just casually. Hey! Oh, is it time for the expert exam already? Our alchemy skills are improving so fast, Paimon can barely keep up! Your progress has been very impressive. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. <laughs> we could start to teach other people? Then Paimon's totally going to start a class. No, you're not. Um, let's see. How much should Paimon charge per student? Well, all Paimon knows right now is that, for homework, her students are gonna have to use alchemy to make all sorts of tasty treats! <laughs> Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback! On their alchemy skills, of course. Paimon snapped back to reality. I'm sure this one will go just as well as the others. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you. Let's see the last exam. So we have an expert card. I just did this. <laughs> expert charisma, 8 plus expert, perception and steadying, and tuning rage 280%. Okay, this should be enough. So just an expert charisma. There we go. Yep. Plus 15. I think this is the best you can do. This is the perfect. I literally did a perfect exam on my last exam. Give your potion a try. Yep, the effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. So, we <laughs> would Severus be proud? What an amazing achievement! Where did you come from? Oh, congratulations. Now is not the time to be humble. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. That's an impressive achievement. You're I've had experience in the past. Exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. I thought it would have taken way more time. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. With everything we've learned, we should be able to offer the official exam soon. This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part in something super important. Of course. You two are practically pioneers. What you've been able to contribute to the field of alchemy is as impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Anyway, I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Traveler, Paimon, thanks again for your participation. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. So now I have every upgrade, I have every thing done, I have every power unlocked. Anything here that can unlock at this point? No, I have everything done. The skill tree is fully completed. Anything else? Purchase supplies. I have every supply you can think of. And I have 3 million mora. 
or farms or whatever how many cycles can i do here okay i'm pretty sure there isn't a limit to how many cycles you can do because at this point i'm at cycle 61 i have 24 million mora i'm the king of the plants at this point so i guess that's it for this event that was a nice event i really enjoyed it and uh, the fact that they put this here so you can go as as much as possible with the cycles even though you don't have any more content in here it's actually a step forward to their uh, to this game's future so um, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope everyone enjoyed this yeah so thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye